Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run where we are trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only two and two uh, characters per mission only. Um, we are in month number seven. It is time for Operation Winter King where we are fighting against the loss and probably a couple of others. And uh, we unfortunately have zero soldiers with the exception of Zirke that wouldn't be somewhere else. It is what it is. I like to field him still and I will give him Data, uh, the trustful and loyal companion at his side. If we're fighting against the loss, let's take a look and think about if we might want to consider taking an advanced expanded magazine here, which I think is a beautiful idea. Uh, that means we do have six uh, shots as clip size. It should be good to go. The advanced laser side is good as well. So, only thing that I'm that I'm considering is we do have death from above here and I'm just toying with the idea of using the spider suit we would still we would only lose one grenade but we would give him a lot of maneuverability and flexibility plus dodge bonus is also nice so let's maybe try that I'm a big fan of spider suits <clears throat> and I want to see how well we are doing. If there is high ground to be uh, climbed, then the spider suit is definitely the right way to go. So, without further ado, let's get Operation Winter King rolling. On a general note for the game, once uh, since we're now having the infirmary build up and healing rate is increased by 100%, I am... <clears throat> Pretty confident that we will really get everyone in tip-top fighting shape at the beginning uh, of the next month, which will give us a pretty solid fundament. So I, I was mentioning how usually, at least in, in, from my experience, uh, the the whole uh, first um, facility mission is somewhat the down or the the crooks of many um, of the runs if you can pull it off you can pull the entire run off at least up to the very late game where we are fighting the chosen and no promises there um, however since we have successfully done that piece i am confident that we can at least get into the end game from here on things are getting easier there is high ground here by the way here's our target and here and here we have some more high ground over here that's affirmative since we're starting concealed Let's just use that advantage. A couple of losses here. Move, move, move. Zirikim could take uh, the position on top of the car. That's at least high ground. Nice little 20% um, aim bonus as well. Also, this here is a beautiful position. Roger that. You know what? We can always grapple our way up uh, the car. I'm on it. Let's start with pulling the loss here. Data is opening it.
And I think with the high ground, we're having a high chance, a, a high chance of actually killing them. <clears throat> the losses are perfect experience plus. They usually offer a great uh, source of ability points, which is overwatching for now, reloading. It's always important to have a full magazine, just in case uh, the losses come back. Again, overwatching. I think Zirkim will follow for now and Data will take the lead. There is the first Lost Swarm. Oh, and we do have a pair of Mutants and the Spectre. Interesting. Mutants and the Spectre, okay. Good, Zirkim. I think we can't grapple all the way he uh, to here. Going up. Might as well use a solid position for now. And let's just make a couple of kills. As for the three back there, they position themselves so nicely uh, all the way back there. We might be able to actually just take a shot at them. Four now, let's overwatch. I think from where we stand, um, we could even hit them, but they they triggered themselves. Not good. Yeah, we couldn't hit it because it had lightning reflexes anyways. Let's see if they line up somewhat close to one another. Of course they are not. Nice little hit, good job. Okay, first things first. This here will basically give us untouchable because we are killing en enemies, which means one of the shots against us will automatically miss. hit both. No, they have positioned themselves quite well. I'll give him that.
Yeah, they've positioned themselves quite well because this here can't flank him. He just positioned himself out of range. That's, by the way, something that really only an AI can do in such a great uh, way. He knows that uh, this here would be the exact spotting line, but he also calculated that uh, standing here would be just out of uh, line of sight, which is kudos. It's actually a pretty uh, solid play. Um, so that is impressive. I'd like to get rid of most of uh, the most of uh, the actual cover and this here should do it not the most beautiful way of doing it this here should kill we're getting death from above which means we get another shot And this is maybe not a kill, but severely injuring him. Nice. Very nice. So we are far enough away to not be within a mutant grenade. At least I think that that's the case. Zirkim has untouchable. This mutant here will hopefully shoot for the lost and not for Zirkim. Hmm. Let's stay here. Data kills the Muton. This Muton here should shoot for Zirkim, who has Untouchable. Or just decides to run to the next pack, which might be back there. Remember, we're not under a timer. So all of this here is pretty easy for now. So we're going to reload. I really see no reason why we shouldn't just... Keep it slow and steady. We're overwatching. Yeah, and he has pulled his friends, which is okay. We're having overwatch, so it's fine. Might as well fight a bigger pack. Lightning reflexes. It would be lightning reflexes uh, if uh, we wouldn't continuously miss on data. That's a nice cluster here if they just stay where they are. Eh, he should have stayed here, so I could have used the grenade. I'm surprised how well the whole you can stand on top of uh, the hill thing works. Okay, so I think that's the best we can do for now. I'm deliberately using our second grenade with Salvo. Oh boy, it's slowing down, which always means loss are in the mix. And there we go. Yep, couple of losses. It's one down here. No longer a threat. Let's kill the Spectre. We still get death from above. It's good. On 
Let's kill the mutant. And reload. Thank you for the ad, uh, advanced expanded magazine. That is very helpful now. All right, I'll reload, even if it's slightly suboptimal. But you don't want to miss when you are um, out of ammunition. It sucks twice as hard. Wow, data hits pretty well. Although it's 80%, I think she made like all of the shots. That's statistically unlikely. Oh my god. Holy moly. Oh gosh. Alright, I'm going to reload and just leave it there. It was a pretty decent run. I think she killed 10 enemies. Shit. Um, mind control is actually bad. We're out of ammunition. Uh, we're we're out of uh, grenades. Can we hide somewhere? I think this here is far enough away to not be seen. Need to survive two rounds of mind control. Still mind controlled, okay. Which means we're going to just hunker down. Minimizes damage, minimizes chance of getting hit. I think we just removed our own panic. at you okay so we're moving up oh shit I should have gotten the soldier anyways this here should teach you a lesson Nice little nine points of damage. He's almost down. And this here is a flanking position. We should be able to kill this guy. Ah. Standing in the open is not a fantastic spot, but this guy will probably run. I take it back. This guy very much officially decides to just stand in the open and take shots. This was a pretty ballsy move. I probably shouldn't have attacked him and just instead ignored it.
Moving to high ground. This time high ground plus cover. Like it. It's 100% kill because we do have a stock. Death from above triggers. I uh, should have probably. I uh, should have started killing lost first. That way, I, that way I could have reloaded. Death from above only refunds one action. Go help them out. Yeah, that was. I could have played that better. Alright, well, lots of visitors here, let's get those guys down. Luckily we have Between the Eyes, which makes the Lost Missions way more easy than they normally would be. Renven! Uh, Zirkim, sorry. Let's kill some zombies. Yes, we got it. Orders confirmed on the move. I want the loot. Wasn't even aware that the uh, that the um, that the sector has dropped loot. Okay, this is going to save the loot and our first operative. That's one of the contacts we were looking for, but there are still others in the area. Hostile neutralized. It's killing time. Reload Overwatch and we're moving here. On the move. Which is another Overwatch. Okay, everyone gets into position. We are indeed overwatching. Nice little hit. I think that, sh that might be the last pack. Difficult one. Lots of mechanical units here though. Lightning reflexes. Okay, 
Lots and lots and lots of lost. Alright, PC is slowing down. That's always a good sign that there are like tons and tons and tons of loss. Getting a bit better position here. Hopefully I don't pull another pack. Well, it's just normal loss. That's okay for now. Cleanup exercise is necessary. Moving to position. Moving in. This here should get rid of the cover. And maybe just maybe attract a couple more loss. Okay, we're going to deal with this guy in a second. Zero Kim is going to clean house right now. Alright, reloading. We will get the mech here with death from above and that should be a kill. Very nice. Which brings us to the Spectre. Similarly, nice little kill. Moving to designated coordinates. And we're softening up the remaining advent. I think we might have killed around a hundred. The amount of loss in this mission is unparalleled. Seldomly seen that many. Okay, Zirkin. Enemy destroyed. I'm running low on ammo. Just out of curiosity, if I were, if I was to saturation fire, like all of this here, it should be quite good. So let's kill two additional loss and then we're saturation firing and even if that means we're not getting an ability reset we would have uh, used our ammunition quite wisely because hitting five people for the cost of three ammunition uh, sounds compelling to me.
So, let's move in. Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. And we should be fine. Everyone's overwatching now. Which means this poor guy here. Will be completely... Uh, turned against. Oh, okay, so she just shot the wall and Zirkim dropped through the ground and took four falling damage because she shot the wall. That makes sense, yeah? By thinking about it, that is absolutely remarkable. Targets in tow. Secure any additional operatives if possible, but make sure you get our contact to the evac point. Kill confirmed. Gonna need to reload soon. Heal back coming through. Can't believe that he really dropped down while she's just destroying the wall. Getting into full cover. And we're slowly but surely hitting this guy. So this is going to break his overwatch regardless. Yeah, we would have had a stock, which means even if he would have uh, resisted, um, even if we wouldn't have hit, we would have still, uh, still dealt damage. Yet another swarm that appears. And we ask ourselves, where are all these losses coming from? Seriously, lucky that I brought the expanded magazine. Makes a huge difference whether or not you have six shots or four. And Data just received the promotion to captain. That's how how many of them we actually killed. So it's a bit more an aggressive move. We will get untouchable anyways. Might as well take matters in our own hands. Let's go. Terminated. 
Okay, all of the losses are dead with the exception of one. Who runs into an overwatch shot and hopefully dies. There we go. operatives working in that area. You should be clear to move for extraction. Data is moving over. Good to go. Interestingly, at the very end of our mission, we got a full squad of four. And we even got all of the class. No, we, do, we don't. We have two grenadiers, but it doesn't matter. We do have a squad of four. point as soon as possible the longer we wait around the worse our chances look okay seems like everyone has made it to the extraction point and only Zirkim had the mild injuries for uh, being shot down from the container that was a pretty decent mission I was a little bit off with 100 kills, it's only 81, but nevertheless worthwhile. Perfect! Yet another successful mission, I like it. Plus I think we got uh, the promotion for data, which is a bonus. Yeah, only a couple of days of wounded time, that's not too bad. Threat assessment is beautiful. Got another uh, scientist, and we got. So now we are at seven uh, scientists. That's actually not bad. And we got two soldiers, two captains. Number one, Wild Child, the Grenadier. You know, uh, I probably wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for your father. He was. Uh, Let's promote her. Something of a miracle worker. Getting the event. Shredder, yes, please. Actually, doesn't matter. Demolition worked well so far. Heavy ordnance and chain shot. Pretty solid. She also got some personal AP. That's good. And we got ourselves another assault class. Not too bad either. We're going for Blade Master. No Overwatch fire. Run and gun. Conceal is also good. We might want to get that. Blade Storm is definitely good. She has 28 uh, points and is a genius, so that's not bad. We might want to train them. I don't want to use any of our group points, but her 28 normal points certainly wouldn't hurt. So death from above sounds like a brilliant idea. That's 10 well invested points. She will get untouchable. So we don't need to train that. I think the rest is okay. I like Emplaceable because it offers a lot of technical um, abilities. Okay, and for the Grenadier, we only have 12 points. 
So maybe we're just going for volatile mix because it's it's good to have that extra oomph at the grenades. There we go. Zirkim didn't even get a single action point. Wow. And he killed, I don't know, probably quite a few. Anyways. So by looking at the armory now, we finally made it. Everyone is injured, with the exception of our new two captains. Uh, captains, Like, quite literally everyone. Okay, we're still going for resistance contacts because I want another uh, option to go to um, Western Europe. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. We're going to slow them down. My chosen is information about XCOM a portion has passed along to the warlock as well. Well, it's okay. There are worse things. Coming in for you now, Commander. Very successful month. Progress against the aliens over the past Very month, successful Commander. month. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead the Warlock has now the ability to uh, summon savage allies. If I'm not mistaken, uh, he summons chrysalids. But I'm... Yeah, I think it was chrysalids. I think so, yeah. She had been reset. She was full, attacked us, now was reset. He will probably one more more one or two more months and he'll be ready to attack us as well. This here would suck, but it's okay. This here is actually not too bad because it would mean extra XP if we're doing um, covered up submissions. I don't know about the hidden e event. We don't have... Oh, wait a second. Next retaliation strike, three weeks. Uh, that's not good. So, what do we want to do? Research breakthroughs are twice as likely to occur. That's a nice one. Gain two additional power, not necessary. Black market cost reduction. I like the GTS sergeant rank, but we're really not training more soldiers at the moment. So, might as well t uh, take the uh, research breakthrough twice as likely. Maybe we get some nice little bonus uh, damage to uh, to our I weapons. Good. We're going to get the supplies in a second. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. That was the Avatar project. Uh, Dragonova has finally been promoted. And there is another, oh, two Avatar project, uh, uh, Avatar Pro three. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the game is, now the game is treating us well. Very well. Dodge plus six is an excellent bonus. Do we have our Templar? Yep, we do. There we go. Nice. And let's take a sergeant. Even better. Low ambush. Low soldier wounded. Good. Okay for me. Plus six dodge for him permanently and reduction of avatar progress. Uh, yeah, thank you. So, Altrana is finally a major as well. And we got some nice little um, points here for her. Uh, Banish is wonderful. Additional Claymore, also good. I like Banish. 
but I think we're going for Claymore first because it is more frequent, more frequently used. Second Claymore, very helpful. So now Edgar Alien Poe needs some help because he's not even a captain. We definitely need to get him promoted to captain and uh, then he probably needs to take um, a covered ops mission that offers a promotion. Did we have other covered ops we missions? Have forces deployed on a covert action, Commander. We won't be able to initiate another operation until the current one is complete. Yeah, I can't, I can't see the soft bony, but another promotion would be nice for covert ops. There is resistance contacts plus one. This time we're going to get the loot first because we definitely need supplies. And if you haven't uh, known yet, the supplies, if you just let them, le uh, let them sit there, uh, months over months will accumulate. So it's a bit, if you don't need them immediately, it's efficient because you save yourself three days of scanning. Um, in this case, they just accumulated from last month. So I just scanned uh, three days and we got ourselves um, all of the nice goodies there. Uh, assorted loot is not bad. I think the alloys here are wonderful. But before we go there, I'd like to secure Europe because, oops, what just happened? Ah, there we go. I, I want to secure Europe because tactical analysis is just such an incredibly nice reward. I, I, I would even say probably arguably better than voluntary army. So whenever we um, whenever we discover aliens on our turn, they basically lose half of their um, half of their turn and can only take a single action, which is just incredibly good. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Attempting to establish local Nice! Look at that! We got another mission at our hands, guys. We got another mission at our hands. Supply rate means alien alloys. Uh, supply rate means a lot of uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful alarium. And it means a non-timed mission. So who would be more uh, uh, who would be more qualified than Dragonova and Edgar Alien Poe to run through that mission? And I will prepare exactly that. We're going to see each other in the next video. As always, if you like what you've seen, please leave a comment down below. Take the half minute to do it and uh, give it a thumbs up. That's how you signal to YouTube that you enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, others will hopefully get the videos recommended as well. Thanks so much. Have a great day and see you in the next mission. Bye bye.